warriors do not just speak they fight they are men and women who must know how to hold the sword of the spirit every national problem was first a regional problem that was not managed properly every regional problem was once upon a time a family problem that was not managed effectively and every family problem was once an individual problem you see how nations are destroyed so an individual who is not discipled creates trouble in a family that is not discipled creates trouble in a society or a region that is not discipled eventually that individual will constitute a nuisance to not only family not only society but to the nation and even the continent at large most of the people today that trouble civilization trouble the peace and tranquility of territories all of them come from home and they did not just evolve into troublemakers of all kinds individuals when they are saved and their understanding is not so constructed especially for believers they may have given their lives to christ but we know that just giving your life to christ this is entry into the kingdom imagine with me for instance that a woman gives birth to a baby and throws the baby down most often than not that child will most likely be a hooligan or will be a troublemaker eventually why because the opportunity to have proper parenting upbringing is not there you can you can solve the problem of a nation very easily if you understand the dynamics on of how problems are created they first start at an individual level then if left unchecked and not dealt with they graduate into problems in families then from families when those individuals are now sent from those families they become troubles to society communities and to regions and if left unchecked they will rise to become national people who multiply the same problem and these are the kinds of conditions that demon spirits look for they look for individuals with no platform for discipleship they look for families with no codes of conduct no modus operandi anything just happens they look for territories that are lawless they look for nations with no law this is how people are destroyed it is very easy to destroy a nation it is very easy to destroy a family it is very easy to destroy a territory all you need to do is ignore discipleship at an individual level just let people do anything they want to do unchecked for a while it will look like they know what they are doing until you begin to see the damage to the family to territory to society and to the nation are we together so at the heart of transformation is discipleship that is it if we want to change this nation we want to change Africa we must obtain grace and wisdom from God to get back into the subject of methodical mentorship discipleship at least for a start we can start with younger believers this has been a mistake that most people have made respectfully speaking especially those in the mission field we focus so much about soul winning missions and that is wonderful but there is no system to manage these people when they are saved at best we just tell them go to this church and when they get to the church if the church does not have a structure a teaching priest to now begin to help those people they are in trouble because when those people sit there the flesh wants to find expression and because there is no system to keep dealing with it i tell you eventually you are going to see all shades of trouble the headache that the man of god will go through because of people that are saved and they just pile them into the church no growth no development and this is how you keep having all this trouble everywhere are we blessed this is not my sermon no this is a burden let me just offload that one then we'll get to the sermon for tonight are we together 
discipleship therefore is the foundation for true and lasting transformation in individuals families institutions and nations let me repeat myself discipleship therefore by reason of the aforementioned discipleship therefore is the foundation for true and lasting transformation in individuals comma families institutions and nations we must restore the system of discipleship my second thought are you ready for the second one to be uninformed i wrote here is bad but to be misinformed is worse to be uninformed is bad ignorance is a terrible thing at any level to be uninformed is bad but to be misinformed is worst please write it and look up this is very true to be uninformed is very bad ignorance is terrible it can cost you a lot including your life but the most serious trouble is to be misinformed when you meet someone who is ignorant the person does not necessarily need renewal the person just needs information that produces transformation is that true but when you meet someone who is ill-informed or misinformed you need renewal first before you now begin the journey of transformation someone who has not begun a journey he does not need to turn back you just need to direct the person to the right place and he fires on but one who has veered off so far he will need to come back to that point before you now point him to the right direction this lead this leads me to this next point we must examine the content the content of our doctrines and the content we use to mentor people because i have spoken now about the need for discipleship but there are many people who are in trouble today because they submitted to discipleship they submitted to discipleship but the content was inaccurate largely unscriptural so in as much as we advocate discipleship to help people most people you only train people from from the residue of your own philosophies and your own ideologies and if your ideology is wrong as an individual as a parent as a man of god you will communicate that error to people now let me tell you this sincerity does not necessarily mean truthfulness just because people are sincere does not mean that they are right most of the error and the trouble the imbalances that come they come from sincere people especially the one that comes from we preachers we may be sincere and so most people believe those information in honor to the sincerity of the man of god not the truthfulness of the content i can i can teach a lie i can teach something that is imbalanced or false and just because you perceive me to be a sincere people a, a sincere person in honor to my sincerity you will now swallow up the error that i'm teaching i may be sincere but it does not automatically mean that what i'm saying is right more than sincerity we must obtain grace from god to seek truth what delivers is not sincerity he says ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free many sincere people are destroying the purposes of god many sincere people are destroying god's divine patterns and divine order so in addition to sincerity which is commendable we must press for truth the content of our mentorship must be scriptural it must be balanced it must be communicated with intention and intelligence to be able to raise and build a people of stature otherwise we'll keep having these shades of lopsidedness spiritual lopsidedness so two burdens tonight one is that at the back of 
every transformation national transformation regional family is the need for mentorship everybody here comes from a family many people here are parents we can start by being intentional don't just allow people do what they want to do allow children do what they do i know that we live in times where you know people just have their ideas but you see this bible is our manual for a life of victory let god be true and all men liars hallelujah praise the lord i prepared a powerful sermon i'm waiting for the day god will grant me grace to teach it i look forward to teaching it in a men's meeting or teaching it so let me give you a teaser it's on inheritance what exactly is an inheritance that's the teaser everybody will eventually hear it but there, there it was designed for fathers husbands leaders men so when the bible says a good man leaves an inheritance what does the bible say to leave because many of what we leave that we call inheritance is not inheritance show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the ways of jesus we want to enter your rest show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the footsteps of jesus we want to enter so the moment you find out that you are ignorant in an area and you are searching for light your first assignment is not a reception your first assignment is verification what i'm about to open my heart to is it truth indeed it takes a lot of time to submit yourself to knowledge it also takes a lot of time to undo the wrong that you have learned my greatest prayer as a man of god is not just for signs and wonders and miracles and the prophetic is that i do not teach god's people a lie and cause nations and millions of people to believe a lie and then after 10 20 years i now realize is the truth then i change alone and leave the people to suffer Are we together? So I remain committed by the privilege of God's grace to make sure that the truths that we hear and the truths that come from this altar are truths that are true indeed, scriptural, life applicable mysteries of the kingdom that will all together build the believer spiritually and then in every other sense this is why we are here the day we fail in this assignment there is no need for you to come here again because we'll be wasting your time that anytime you come and what you hear are not life applicable truths sound from scripture doctrinally balanced and communicated with intelligence there is no need doing any church again any other thing that is left is religion the greatest honor to your time and your sacrifice while you sit here people come right from you know whatever time the greatest honor is to make sure that we as ministers of the gospel do our best within the the boundary of the grace that has been given to us we ourselves are students in the school of the spirit but you see the this is where the mystery of the body of christ comes so that the dimension you do not see clearly if you sustain the humility of heart there is another angle to it that can help you to find balance.